art friends. So now that we're entering the springtime season, we are going to be drawing a bunny because Easter is coming up and whether or not we're in school, we're still going to celebrate it. So let's get started. I'm going to have my marker. I will probably be make, ugh, I'm already making mistakes by talking. I'll probably make a few mistakes today because I'm used to drawing with a pencil, but you can't see it on my paper. So what I'm doing is I am actually watching a video from uh, Art for Kids Hub. So what I'm drawing is not my original work, but I do thank them for that. And so if you go to their channel at Art for Kids Hub, uh, they have some great stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and draw a bunny. So we're going to start with the bunny's head and uh, I'm going to first draw this shape right here. This is like a rainbow shape. It's going to go like that. Okay, then uh, according to what they are showing me right now, I'm going to draw a line here and I'm going to draw the bunny's eye. So in classic Art for Kids Hub fashion, we'll do a little reflection uh, light right there, and I'm going to color that in. Hopefully this does not look like an alien or a squid. <laughs> and from what I'm seeing, he's also kind of filling this in right here. Now if you're using a pencil, just kind of color it in as best as you can. I also have uh, two papers, so if you're using a marker, uh, you don't want your marker to bleed because look at that. <laughs> Already bleeding, but that's okay. Um, also, we're going to add a little shape here, shape here. And I'll just kind of update you about how I'm doing these days. I've been doing uh, my schooling online and it's been quite a wild ride. Having to stay home has not been easy, but it has been giving me the chance to work on my studies and to get my schoolwork done, just like you guys. So that's how I'm relating. Kind of looks like Iron Man the way I'm seeing it. Um, now we're going to do the bunny's nose from what I'm seeing and I'm starting to now see kind of the bunny shape. Remember, we're drawing a realistic looking bunny, so uh, it's gonna look a little less cartoonish. All right, now on the side, right over here, we're going to draw this shape. We're gonna start right out here, not exactly on the edge, but sort of right above it. And I'm going to curve around, and I'm gonna stop right about there. I mean, that's probably close, but not exactly the same. I think this is the bunny's cheek. <laughs> Oh, yep, definitely, because we're going to be drawing this other bunny sheep <clears throat> right here. And I'm going to go up like that. <laughs> I think it's looking a little like an alien. But hey, it's going to look cool by the time it's done, hopefully. I am an artist, but I'm not perfect. I'm always learning. I'm always learning from my mistakes and understanding how things work, how shapes work. Now, we're going to start with the ears. So we're going to have two lines. One ear is going to probably go that way. Another ear is going to go this way. <clears throat> and we'll go up that and stop and then go up stop there we go I'll pause every now and then so you guys can catch up make sure that if you make any mistakes you can pause and erase if you need to I'm going to continue by drawing the bunny's ear going down I've also been working on a different painting. I'm gonna show you a preview of that uh, at the end of this video, just to kind of update you about the projects I'm working on. I'm always continuing practicing, especially in the painting world. All right, now we're gonna draw the side of the bunny's ear. We're doing a curved line, and then another curved line. All right, starting to, to show up now, a little less like an alien, a little more like a bunny. And then I'm going to put a curved line starting here. I'm going to just pause and wait. All right, there we go. This will be the bunny's little body. <laughs> Probably a little too pudgy, but that's okay. <laughs> pause, let you guys catch up a bit. Now it's time to do the bunny's leg. And so the back leg's gonna start here. I'm gonna curve, we're gonna get kind of close to the cheek, but then we're gonna stop about there. And now for the bunny's lucky foot. I'm gonna make this shape. And then I'm gonna kind of wobble this line a little. And then add some toes.
Now time for the rest of his body. So we're gonna do a curve line like this. And this is going to be the bunny's front paw. The, the more I look at it, the more I think of like Gollum from Lord of the Rings kind of hunched over <laughs> looking at, at the precious. And this is going to be the little tuft of fur they have on the front. And then here's the other paw. If I had to go back and change it, I'd probably make his cheeks just a little bit smaller, but that's okay. Little toes, ears. And now time for <clears throat> the bunny's cottontail. I got a chance to go on a hike recently at a, a reserve and there are just bunnies everywhere. Like it's just a normal thing to see. And they have the cutest little white cottontails I've ever seen in my life. It's a strange thing to kind of see in Arizona, but it's awesome this time of year, especially during springtime and when all the flowers are in bloom. I think this is pretty much it for a bunny. <laughs> I think the rest of it is just going to be kind of the background. Um, yeah, so for the background, uh, what you can do is you can add some leaves. So I, what they did in the video too is add leaves, but I'm gonna do my own kind of style leaves. So I'll do that. And then this is gonna be very, very rough. Almost looks like petals. And then I'm gonna go back and color later. I'm going to add some leaves in the front and then some grass. This is pretty much making it my own. And I think what I'll do too is actually turn this into a carrot. Normally bunnies don't really eat carrots, but they do love vegetables in the garden. So I'm going to make it look like there's a carrot coming out of that. And Add a bit of a shadow just for fun because that's my own personal style. I'm daily to take what I get to do. And then maybe add some more. All right. And there you have it is our little bunny coming out of a little bush for a carrot. <laughs> so if you like to personalize this the way that you want to, just like I did, please go ahead and do that. I will not be coloring it in this video, but um, feel free to color it however you want and kind of experiment with how you do it. This, this is mostly for my K through six uh, uh, class. And so if you're chiming in, if you're not part of the class, well, hey, <laughs> we're happy that you're here. Um, anyway, so I hope you guys have an excellent Wednesday. Today is draw time Wednesday for me. So have a great weekend uh, as well. But, you know, I'm going to stop while I'm ahead because I can't, can't talk today. It's been a long time. We're in quarantine now. And so we're just doing the best that we can. And I'm hoping that as Easter approaches, we get to do more fun activities like this, even from home. So anyway, have a great day and see you next time, guys. Bye.